Yo, 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 it's Mr. Bear, and we're back again with our Resident Evil Village Let's Play. We are now on part 18. Just a quick recap of what happened previously. Uh, we were in the elevator, and we had got the key mold. Me running around aimlessly trying to find a foundry. Meeting up with some heavily armored tanks. Using the grenade launcher on one of them, and then realizing use this lovely thing. I think I may end up just keeping this and using this only from now on. Alright, so we got Heisenberg's key. That's a magic thing to do it. Prototype Strom used a cheap turbo prop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge too much power output for the reactor. Completely invincible head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off with the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion. Complete failure. I'm waiting for you. It's like many versions of Iron Man, basically. Money! Now stay down. That was a bitch. That was assault rifle. It's not. Oh, dang. It's a toy. Uh, Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bounds. We're merely a bunch of failed Kadoo experiments to her. 
it was just lucky I had more affinity to stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega Masite. I'm probably saying that wrong. The trick is that brat, Rose, if I could access her power, then maybe speaking of the kid's dad, Ethan has pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Interesting body? That's a little disturbing. My body's interesting. Ooh. Actually, one second. Is this as a shot? Uh, uh, uh. I now need to go and check that now. Damn it. I've got an extra shot. I so did not check that. Oh, well. I don't know what I shot <laughs> The weaponry just gets more and more. Oh my god, I'm in a fucking maze. I don't like this. I'm gonna guess I have to climb up here. Oh, this is so safe. way back up once again how irritating my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. 
See if she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold? Like Louisiana? God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> We'll stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. And you take this, and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Stay under the radar? Bro, the thing is huge. Okay, two Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this is just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the, well, I'm guessing that's the mold, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the winter she's home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked the corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around and it's even made from metal polymer composite which he can't control time to turn the tables alpha Ooh. i'm gonna guess that's that more aid please i'm not gonna save before i take this thing away with me Right, we are to take this thing. Oh. I'm a 
not supposed to stay conspicuous. This thing is gone. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Oh, no. 
Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? What? A child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No, Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must stop her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me. Uh -oh. Don't worry, Ethan. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Uh, 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 I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> oh, wow. Am I? Am I? I've waited so long. But dreams really can. I can't wait to see my true child again. Uh, I miss something? Or am I, am I actually physically utterly dead? I'm puzzled. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him 
and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Oh, man. They got one to playing personal. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, it doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Yeah, five shots to the head, indeed. That's certainly a lot. Let's see. Uh, I'm a little shocked that we're no longer, uh, so, Ethan is now dead. Hey, Alpha, look at this. PSAA, they've gone too far. Pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Gonna take it Everyone down. watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. <sighs> Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. It's more than we thought. Watch out. It's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. 
Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. See, what do we have in the inventory? What the heck is that thing? No idea. No. Turret locator. Mirage, I need some backup. I see him. Two hundred to the point. in the target. Roger that, boss. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. It's them. 
I'm gonna hold it there for now. Okay, that was certainly uh, <laughs> intense. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next part. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.